angels. The Greek word angel means one who delivers news. The first thing about the angels that we ought to intimate is their consciousness of the presence of God. Since God sends us inspirations by means of his angels, we should frequently return our aspirations to him by means of these same messengers. The air and earth and ocean, everything is full of angels. Make yourself familiar with the angels for, without being seen, they are present with you. Angels, however, are revealed, not as they are, but transformed as men are able to behold them into whatever the Lord commands. Observe with what care God builds up our faith. An angel teaches Mary, an angel teaches Joseph, an angel the shepherds also, of whom it is said, and they were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field. He has given his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. These words should fill you with respect, inspire devotion, and still confidence. Respect the presence of the angels because of their loving service and confidence because of their protection. My child, Remember that the soul that loves Jesus speaks little and suffers much. I order you, in the name of Jesus, never to give your opinion unless asked, never to hold unto your opinion but to yield. When you have committed any fault, acknowledge it immediately without waiting to be questioned. Remember to guard your eyes, for eyes that are mortified will look upon the beauty of heaven. The power of hell assails the dying Christian, but his angel guardian will come to console him. His patron saints, Saint Michael, who has been appointed by God to defend the faithful servants in the last combat with the devil, will come to his aid. Let us be like the holy angels now. If one day we are to be in the angelic court, we must learn how, while we are still here, the manners of the angels, 